In this video, I'm using GIMP, but you can use any program you like. So I'm just getting one of the uh, panels. I'm going to drop it into GIMP here. And I'm zooming in using the control mouse wheel. And I'm finding the uh, part I want to get rid of. So I'm using the R for a rectangle tool. And then I've done a control C copy. And I'm here. I'm over in a cleanup stable uh, clip drop, which is a stable diffusion thing. And you can see over on the top right there, the brush size. You can alter the brush size as you like. And I'm just going over the area I want to get rid of. Uh, this is good for special effects. It's not 100% perfect. Sometimes it works better than others. And sometimes I found with a smaller brush size, it'll work. So here I'm going to hit the clean up and the AI is going to do its work. Yay, yay, yay. And as you can see, it didn't do such a perfect job. But I'm going to download it anyways. And then I'm going to drag it into GIMP. And I'm using the move. It's the M key. And I'm just going to use the arrows, up arrows, to, to find. I'm using the control mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And here I'm zooming in. And probably you can see those marching ants, as they call it. Probably with a, a shift control A would have got rid of those. It would have been easier to see where you line it up. And here you can see I've lined it up. And then I'm just going to merge it down onto the image. And you can see here uh, some parts that didn't work. So what I've done is use the clone stamp brush, and that's a, a C. And you use a control um, a click to find out the area you want to take the part from. And then you can just uh, click and uh, click down and clone the area onto. And now this is normally the way we would try and get rid of uh, the GIMP guys, I think. We try and get rid of special effects. This part here is a little bit more difficult. It's got a pattern. What I suggest you do is try and only take a small area of your image because I found that the uh, clip drop cleanup will downsize your image and you don't want that. You don't want to have to try and re-upsize your image. This is me trying to mess around with the uh, zoom in and zoom out. Now I've tried this a couple of times uh, when I was testing it, and I found that the first time worked a lot better than the second time. And I, I'm not quite sure what it was that did that, but you know, there's a bit of trial and error that you can try. And you can see it, it did almost a perfect job, but a little bit of white in the blue there. So we're doing exactly the same thing. We're dragging it over, and we're going to line it up. So it's M for move tool, and then just using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Now you don't want to move it left and right because that'll just mess things up. Then you'll be trying to. I mean, you can use the mouse and hold the the you know trying to move it with the mouse, but uh, probably a lot quicker to use the, um, the keys. Now here I'm going to do a clone. So I hit the C. Now I'm going to do a Control uh, left mouse button, and then I'm just uh, left mouse buttoning here to get rid of that. Now here I'm going to try a different one. I could find GIMP. Oh, here we go. Let's drop it into GIMP. Now this would look, you would think this is actually more difficult, but it actually does a pretty good job on this one. So I'm just doing Control C for that copying that area, and then I'm doing Control V. I'm sorry, yeah, Control V um, in the clip drop, and then I'm just Oh, drawing over it again. Now in this you'll see it doesn't, with the lines, it doesn't do an absolutely perfect job. Um, but you know what, I don't think most people are sitting looking at comics and going, oh that line didn't burn it straight. Uh, I think they're more interested in the story. And if you know anything about animation or anything, it's the story, it's not the animation. And I'm sure a lot of times it's the story when it comes to comics. I mean, some of those, some people's comics are probably the worst drawers in the world, but still the story's great. And you can see here I'm using the move tool again, and I'm just moving it up and down. And I've got a little bit of a... So I could use the paintbrush here, which is a P, or I could use the clone stamp. And I think I probably used the clone stamp. Yeah, you can see that, and I just got rid of that a little bit there. 
and I'm merging it down again. Now you don't have to merge it down. You could leave them there, but then what I find is that when uh, that I end up trying to be on the I'm on the I end up on the wrong layer. So I just merge it down, and this becomes very repetitive, as you can see. And now in this part, it does a really good job. Yes, folks, we're all going to be replaced by computers. And as you can see, it's just got that one little like black dot there. I don't know where that came from. And basically just dragging it back into GIMP, drag and drop. And hit the M for move tool. No, didn't hit the M for move tool there. Hit the M for move tool using the up and down arrow. So it's a pretty repetitive. It's this will make it a lot easier for people that are not cleaner redrawers to actually become cleaner redrawers. All you have to do now is learn a few little GIMP things or whatever. You can use this as whatever the online one is. Um, I don't know if you have an old version of Photoshop. You can that doesn't have the the cleanup, uh, the AI cleanup or whatever they have, uh, you'll be able to use this. And we'll just go for one more and I think we're almost done. As you can see, I pasted the wrong picture, so I didn't do a proper control C, so control C here. Yeah, yes, I was on the wrong layer. That's why I was merged down. So now I'm gonna do a control C and a control V. And I decided to make my brush a little smaller. Probably, you're probably better off to have a, this, the brush just as big as you need it. Because the more you, uh, the bigger the brush, it's probably going to take up too much area. And you want to do it, and here I'm trying to do better. And now I think you'll notice that the hand actually has a color difference. Now, the first time I did this, it, the, the color was perfect. But this time you'll notice the color isn't that perfect. And you can see it's a little beige, a little, a little bit brighter. So M, again, M for move. And um, with GIMP, you can use the control wheel to zoom in and out. And it's probably a good idea to zoom in and out. It just makes things easier. So if you put the mouse where you want to zoom into, and then control uh, mouse wheel in and out, uh, it actually zooms in on that area. And you can see here that it doesn't look so good. So I'm going to use the clone stamp again, which is a C. And then I do control. And then I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Oops, got the black in there. And there we go. That's how you do it. Uh, it's a really good way to do it.